football fans, Brad Nessler here with my partners in crime, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Horrible weather conditions, cold and rainy for today's game between the Oregon State Beavers and the Oregon Ducks. And here come the Ducks. We have two good teams here, and I'll be honest with you, I really don't know what to expect from this game. Oregon has the edge in this one, and literally, their defensive end has unbelievable speed and quickness off the edge, and that's the main reason I'm picking them to win this one. This will be a good game, but I'm picking the Oregon Ducks. <laughs> All right, folks, you heard the coach's pick. Now let's head down to the field for the coin toss. Well, Coach, that's why they have one of the top ten defenses in the nation. He throws it. They can't connect. Incomplete. That brings up the punting situation. Not in a shotgun. They'll throw on first down. He throws right. Finds his receiver. Down the sideline. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown! The wideout makes a big catch there. Hey, whenever you have a receiver who can make plays like that, you just want to get the ball in his hands and let him do the... Back to pass. He steps up. He's got to throw it in a hurry. It's on the ground. It's picked up by the defense. Brought down at the 17. He really wanted that ball, didn't he, Kirk? No, you can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. Receiver. Rolling out to the right side. Throws off his back foot. And it's caught. And he's tackled at the three-yard line. And a pretty smart call right there. You're absolutely Touchdown, Ducks! Drop back to pass. He gets the pass away. Got it, Bull. Now that's three wide receivers. He's rolling right. Surveys the field. Across the middle. At the 40. He's all the way down to the 35-yard line. Come out in the shotgun. We're taking big move. And down he goes at the 23-yard line. And he carried that one for a few. Parkin is back in the gun. He's looking. Throws a push. Complete. What a catch. The wideout made a good-looking grab there. You're right. Out in the shotgun. Touchdown, Oregon. All right, Coach, your team is down by three touchdowns in the first quarter. But what are you telling those kids on the sideline? Well, I look them in the eye and I say, hey, there's more than three quarters to go. It's your choice. Either lie down and lose by 50 or man up, dig yourself out of this hole. It's been pretty lopsided here in the first quarter. The score is Oregon 21, Oregon State nothing. He's out defensively with six defensive backs. He looks. He'll dump this one off. They'll bring him down at the 32. Coach, that's a first down. A good-looking first down, too. They might want to run that one again in a couple of plays. He had some options. Come out in a bunch of formation. Looking to throw. Here they come. Looks. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. The Ducks call for a timeout. And they'll have two remaining. up with three receivers. Rolls right. He's looking. Incomplete. They got to the quarterback a little late there. First one down. This is just an unnecessary hit. He should have been disciplined for a play like that. The gun. Hawkins looking to throw on first down. Has it to the senior. 
Oh, my, when it rains, it pours. Ha, that's why I brought one of these. Whoa, 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 watch it, Coach. You're going to take an eye out. Put that thing away. Like Brad said, when it rains, it pours. So I came prepared, my friend. Very tough, Coach. Now, seriously, can you pull that thing off so we can see the game? Incomplete. And it's been total dominance here in the first half. Our score, Oregon 27. Oregon State, nothing with three wide. Looks to pass. Slips it short. Someone got a hand on it. He just Rodgers alone in the backfield. Back to pass. Number three. Let's it fly. Caught. He did a great. At the 40. And he's finally shoved out at the 32. How about that for a statement? And what a nice counterplay there. The line did a good job of blocking up front, and the tailback did the rest once he got by the first wave of defenders. Whoa. That was close of being six points there, you guys. The low back, setting up play action, and he puts it on the turf. Picks up the loose ball, and he is drilled at the 34-yard line. And that last fumble was recovered by the end. And he made an excellent play to fall on the ball there, Brad. He saw it hit the ground. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Hawkins throws. He ignores the footsteps and makes the catch. That's a first down right there. Yeah, if I was a defense, I think I would man up on these guys next time. This quarterback is very good at recognizing. Come out showing three wide. Steps up in the pocket. He throws it. Gets past the tackler. He's taken down at the 40. Defense is coming when he's the first down. Hawkins drops back to pass. He's right there for the interception. Hawkins with the tackle at the 48-yard line. Lee, do you think they'll be able to capitalize on the interception? Uh, I don't know. I don't think it's going to make much difference. They've dug themselves in a pretty big hole. Look at the throw. Moves up in the pocket. Let's it fly. And he's tackled right away. That was a laser, Cook. This guy has a huge arm. It's like he's throwing darts, but it's coming at about 86 miles an hour. He's on the field. He's looking to pass. He lets it fly. And it falls incomplete. The wideout had a shot at that one, but couldn't quite come up with a... Here we go. Surveys the field. He lets it go. Complete. What a catch. This quarterback acts like he doesn't even know it's fourth down out there. Did you see how calm he looked in the pocket? He showed great composure. I don't think he's... Lining up with three receivers. Looking. Short toss. Catches it. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. Oh, On the offense. It's about time they called him for holding. He's been holding on... He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. Sets up in the nickel. Hawkins with the play fake. He's looking for his man. Has his fullback. He's pushed out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Everybody was fooled on that. Lines up in the shotgun set. Back to pass. Looking. He throws. He dives, and he got it. You know, it's really easy to overlook those guys on the line. To the line with three wide. On the ground, left side. He's taken down at the 17-yard line. They move the sticks after another flip for the shotgun set. Hawkins, back to pass. Picked off. That INT puts him in a position to make this a game. Yeah, they really needed that. That's a huge boost to morale. You're right, Kirk. Now they got the big MO Mo on their side. Now this defense line up with three wide. Hawkins hands off. Tackle at the 37. They keep it on the ground and get the first down. Good. 
loses the football, and the offense picks it up. They'll bring him down at the 22. The offense will keep possession after the fumble by the running back. It's a good thing they can't afford a turnover right now. So that brings us to the end of the quarter, and at the end of three, our score, Oregon 27, Oregon State 3. Right there. Looks to pass. He flings it. He snags it. He's taken down at the six. And they're building some great momentum on this drive to the line with three wide. Touchdown. Crenshaw gets the call. And he's in for two. I can't believe these guys are going for two at this point. Lines up at the single back. Drops back to pass. Comes across the middle. Great coverage, and it's intercepted. And down he goes at the 21. Kirk, any thoughts on why they've had such an off day? Oh, it's been all about making mental mistakes out there, and that interception was another perfect example. It's up, and he's got it, and he's got to be happy about that in the backfield. First down, look at the throw. There's a missed tackle. Number three, zips it down the middle. His receiver has it to the 20, and they tackle him. Nice pass play. Good accuracy there by the quarterback, and the receiver made a nice catch for a big game. I think the key also was the fact that the pass was thrown very hard. Trouble. Broke away from one. He's looking. And now he's going to improvise. Coach, nobody got open, so he took it in himself. Great heads up play there. The quarterback looked around, saw nothing, took off running for the end zone. Here's the onside kick. That'll be enough. Costa drops the throw. He lets it fly. Got it to him on the run. The 10, and it pays off. Touchdown. And for that young man, it's touchdown catch number two. Hey, this guy's really stepped up for his football team today. Well, it's obvious the coach wanted to get him involved in the game plan. It looks like it was a pretty smart move, too. State goes with the ace set here. He drops back, rolling out to the right side. Number three, unload at the 40. To the 20, to the 10. He's all the way. Touchdown. They hooked up for the long touchdown there, guys. What a great call. The quarterback knew he had the matchup that he wanted, and he took advantage of it. And how about that receiver? He made a great catch. Here's the onside. So this offense is going to have the ball again, but they're still down by three scores. If they score quick and get another onside kick, then it's good to Rodgers on the run. Oh, what a move. To the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Oregon State. What a weapon this running back is. I'll tell you what, this guy makes the defense look silly out there. They're falling all over themselves trying to get him on that one. Here it goes. And that should. The kick is up. And it's through the upright. And any slight hope they have. And that's the end of the game. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? I don't know about you guys, but I was pretty darn impressed with this bunch of kids. Oregon faced a pretty good opponent in this one, but they just marched right through them. I'm telling you, these guys are for real. Folks, it's been a lot of fun, and I hope you can join us again next time. Our final score on this one, Oregon 48, Oregon State 24. This is Brad Nessler with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet saying thanks and so long.